Hello guys, it's me again, I'm Mar, and I'm back with another video. So this video is about RAM speed and RAM timings and how they can impact your performance, your gaming performance. I'm I'm mainly focusing on on gaming performance. So um without further ado, let's jump to the benchmarks. But before we can do that hit like subscribe to the channel dislike if you don't like this video but tell me in the comments why you did why did you dislike the video so i can make an make an improved video i guess so leave you guys with the benchmarks all right i'm back again so after the benchmarks the question is is it worth it for me personally of course it it's worth it especially if you've got like a high-end gpu then yeah you're probably gonna need that extra fast ram kit but um if you're a guy or a girl or whatever who just like plug and play stuff you don't you don't want to go through all the stability testing all the um that sort of stuff then yeah um then yeah like 30 uh 3000 megahertz or 3200 megahertz it's more than enough but personally i prefer to go with higher megahertz on the RAM and tight a bit tighter sub timings so yeah like if you're going for Ryzen then get like 3200 MHz CL14 if you can or 3600 CL16 if you can as well but if you don't like to overclock you don't you don't like to mess around with those stuffs which is RAM RAM overclocking is a bit of a mess so if you don't know how to do that then it's better to, to just buy a 3200 MHz plug it in enable XMP and that's it but for me yeah I love to tinker around with my stuff so yeah and as you guys saw between 2133 3000 and 3800 MHz the difference was there it was a pretty minimal GPU bound scenarios but it's still there the difference is there so anyways see you in the next one hit like subscribe dislike the video if you don't like it tell me in the comment why did you dislike it so I can make an so I can make a better video. So see you in the next one. Cheers.